welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i use rosemary water and another ingredient to keep my hair moisturized and some other added benefits which i will tell you as the video goes on all right let's get into this video and first thing you need is a hot pot of water a strainer and just a spoon or just something to scoop the water with um, there are many different versions that you can you need a container of some sort depending on the amount that you want is the container that you the size of the container if you're making a lot you get a big container if you're making a little bit then you get a smaller container and then you also do want to have it, uh, the container to be sealed tight or be able to be sealed tight so you can cover it and leave it uh, for a couple of days all right and of course you will need to start off the show the rosemary so you can use the fresh rosemary or you can use the dried ones that you know come in the bag and stuff like this either or they both work just fine all right so in this method that i'm going to be showing you it's the soak and just basically let it infuse for for a few hours and or days so you can also do the boiling method but that's not what i'm doing here so first this method starts off with hot water because it's best to start off with hot water because it helps to infuse and get infuse the um rosemary with the water or start the process it makes it a little bit easier but you can use cold water that works as well all right so first things first you just want to measure out um the amount of rosemary like i said it depends on the quantity that you're trying to make if you're trying to make a lot of rosemary water then you can use a little bit more rosemary but as you guys can see i was just making enough for one time use so um i think that little bit of amount like a palm size amount a two quarter size amount is perfect for the amount that I will be making and like I said it's a super easy process all you have to do is boil your water put it in your container put your rosemary in the container and that's pretty much it so here because the rosemary does have a really nice rich flavor I'm sorry not flavor really nice aroma so you can just leave it as is but I chose to add a peppermint just for the added benefits that comes with it that comes with peppermint not because it was needed so at this point you're pretty much done all you have to do is just let the rosemary soak and infuse with the water I give it a couple of days or until you see it start changing color or turning a reddish brownish color that's when it's ready to be used Okay, so then like I said you just close it and you put it away um, usually after two three days that's when it starts to when you don't boil it it starts to infuse and really change colors so if you want um, you need it faster you can try the boiling method which you just basically boil the rosemary with the hot water which makes it infuse faster okay so this is one that I made a couple days back and now this is what it's looking like so like i said you can leave it for longer if you do want it to be darker or more potent you can just wait for the color to get darker than it is now so basically the darker the color the more potent the the water is so in my case i didn't need it to be too potent because i'm going to be adding another item to it so this um amount of infusion was good enough for me so that's why I go I went ahead and I'm gonna be using it and like I said if you want it to be darker or more stronger just leave it in to soak longer and you can always leave it in to soak longer and just water it down later if it's too strong but that's pretty much it um, like I stated earlier you can just spray it onto your hair as is it gives you so much benefit it stimulates your scalp it nourishes your scalp it gives you great great shine to your follicles but I chose to add peppermint just because I like peppermint and it's it um, tingling sensation and just all the great things that it does 
but you don't have to add this you can just use the res rosemary as is but that's pretty much it once i add the items that i like into the spray bottle that i can discard it if um sometimes i use it again and re-soak it if i needed more but this is the second time i've used this one so i think it's good it's been used up so i will go ahead and discard that one but that's pretty much it for my rosemary water i put it in this um spray bottle so you guys can see what the color is looking like but i don't have to top of, i don't have to top for this spray bottle so i'm not going to be using it but this is what my rosemary looks like if you feel like it's really potent and too strong you can always put a little bit more water to dilute it but this is how i use mine i just put a little bit of peppermint and i go ahead and spray it into my hair but like I mentioned earlier, this spray actually contains rice water as well. So it's not just rosemary, it's rosemary and rice water. And I like to do this because I'm currently doing a protective styling. And when my hair is in these mini braids or plaits, it's super easy to wash and take care of them. So when it's wash day, which it is this weekend, the day before that i like to go ahead and apply this to mixture rice water and rosemary because it gives a little bit of time to soak and then i can just kind of leave it in my hair to marinate and soak in and get all the good moisture and the next day i go ahead and wash it off and there's no special application or anything like that I just use this bottle um, that I absolutely, absolutely love, especially if you do a lot of hair products and hair, natural hair videos. This is a really great bottle. It doesn't clog up as easily. You can use oil with it and it sprays it so amazingly onto your hair and every single inch gets it, it feels like. But this is what my hair is looking like. And remember, I do have fenugreek and olive oil and aloe vera already in my hair so that's what the white flakes and stuff like that are but when i'm done i just go ahead and put a bag on my hair for about an hour or two just so it can soak in and not drip everywhere and then after the two three hours i go ahead and take off the bag and just kind of let it air dry until the next morning or the next day when i will be washing my hair that's all folks thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one smooches